anxious to get right back for another LEGO Marvel minifigure comparison video for you guys. And this time, I'm doing the same repeated character once again for the lineup. And that is the Vulture once again. But this time, this is the MCU Michael Keaton look. So we have two different versions of him. We have the 2017 version, and here we have the 2021 version. So I am going to show you guys their face prints, their front and back torso printings, and the different looks for their helmets too. And also, there is a any leg pretty for them but still we're gonna take a look at the torsos and the head prints for the lineup so without further ado let's get started with the torso so here we have their torso printings and they are officially different right here so yeah they are different how the way they turn out as you can see so the one from 2017 is much darker because it is all in that black color right there we have a zipper right there and some straps in a different angle as you can see and some different straps right there Kind of like in a darker yellowish color, I'm guessing. Well, probably like that. And we have some cloth parts right there for the jacket, as you can see. And some parts right here, which is pretty nice and decent. And the one from last year is in a brownish color. Maybe like a dark brownish color, as you can see, which is really nice looking. So we have the zipper right here angling in a different look. And some parts of it in a different angle for the left and right side of the body. And we have the strap design right there in a different angle because the one from 2017 is in a different look and the one from last year is in a different look as you can see which is really nice looking and as for their helmets they are different right here so the one from 2017 has that invincible iron man look with that printing on it as you can see which is pretty decent and yes it has the green eyes right there and the breathing mask for the beak look for the helmet is different and also for the one from last year has some three separate pieces. So we have the black helmet, the glass visor, and that little breathing mask right there. So that is different right there. And the green eyes for that mask part right there is a printed face right there instead of just the actual helmet piece itself. And I like printing for both of these figures. They have different colored green legs right here since the one is dark green for the 2017 one. And the one from last year is in like a sandish greenish color lighter look or so and they have different looks for their arms and hands so the one from last year is brown it has some lighter gray hands for the gloves right there and this one is all black looking as you can see well probably from that effects from the films right there which is pretty nice and decent and turning around to their back torso printings as you can see they are different right here so different looks for the helmets right here because this one is an actual helmet piece in that black color and this one, like I said, it is the invisible Iron Man look, but the back torso printings are 100% the difference right here. Well, it's 100% different, I should say. So we have the rest of that cloth piece right there, and we do get some of those black straps right there on the back of the torso for the 2017 Vulture. And this one for the 2021 version is different. So we have a little bit for that cloth piece, and we have the straps right there for the bottom hip and this middle part of the body for the left to right side and even the top right there. And we do get some, the glider parts right there for the vulture part representing right there. And also we're gonna take a look at their face prints right here. So you can see this one, the one from 2017 doesn't have a second face. It's just all those spots right there for that look right there that they used the 2016 head for the Michael Keenan vulture from 2017 and this one from last year has a double-sided face we have that adrian tombs michael keenan face print look as you can see which is really nice looking and also let me take off that gas mask if i can let me take that off so i can show you what that other face looks like and there it is so yeah the difference right here this one has like a normal head that doesn't have any gear on it but this one does right here so this is what that face print looks like where you remove that gas mask piece for the vulture himself we do get that goggles right there for the green eyes right there which is pretty nice and decent and we have a serious face right here so this one has double-sided face printing and this one doesn't have any because that's the reuse of the 2016 head so that is it for the whole look for the vultures now let's go ahead and wrap so this which version thing. of the vulture do i like the most well i'm gonna say the 2021 version because this one has more movie accurate look, but the one from 2017 is still good looking. Well, it's sort of accurate, but 
And this that we've seen in Homecoming has some brownish texture for his outfit right there for the film itself. And also for the helmet right there, it has to be like that because that is how the way it turns out in the movie right here. So I still like that helmet for the Invincible Iron Man look for the Vulture, but still this version has to be the perfect Vulture that I could prefer right here. So the one from 2017 came from that old Spider-Man Homecoming said, Beware the Vulture that I got for my 14th birthday. And also the one from last year came out in that No Way Home Spider-Man's Drone Dual Set that released last year that I got from Lego Shop at Home last year. So because that set released last October. So yeah, this is a nice looking, well, minifigures I should say, but still I prefer this version of the Vulture the most because it has some movie accuracy right there. Well, this one is still good, but I still prefer this one the most because of the way he turns out right here. So I totally like that as you see right there with the nice detailing right there. So they changed up the torso printing and the head design right there to make it more movie accurate because of the way it turns out right here. So still, we didn't see Vulture in No Way Home. Well, Lego did this because they won't spoil No Way Home from last year. So that's why they did that. Well, I still like this version the most right here, but this one is still a good figure. Well, I honestly like this one because of the movie accurate look for the printing and all that stuff right there. But still, they're nice mini figures, so I still prefer the one from last year for the lineup too. So nothing much to say, but that is all I've gotten so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell the save button. And don't forget to Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments which version of Vulture do you guys like the most for the lineup. I'll see you later. I'll